cries from people in the Tamil community in Canada to outlaw these guys for a long time, nothing happens. Stockwell Day got the job of public security minister, and all of a sudden, things are changing. Mr. Day, tell us the story about the Tamil Tigers and why you decided and the government decided to act. Well, Mike, you've uh, headed right in the, in the right direction. This is a group uh, that are defined as terrorists. They use terror for the accomplishment of political goals. They are world leaders in suicide bombing. Um, they, they take full claim for their political assassinations, uh, in, in, including uh, a Gandhi. They uh, recruit child soldiers. And the largest community around the world, the, the diaspora of Tamils, in fact, are here in Canada. Hard-working people, great community people who uh, came here when fighting was breaking out in the, in the late 80s. So they uh, came here as refugees they, to they, find peace. Exactly right. They came here to find a better future for their homes, for, the, for their families, and uh, to pursue their hopes and their dreams. And now here they are in their own communities under uh, a fair bit of uh, intimidation and, pre uh, and pressure, some would say extortion, from the Tamil Tigers, the, the actual terrorist group, in terms of the way they fundraise. So they want money to carry on their war back home in Sri Lanka, and they come here, particularly in the Toronto area, where there's a very large group, and uh, wherever there's a, a Tamil community, and go around and threaten people and say, I'm expecting you to cough up 10,000 bucks and, uh, on a continuing basis uh, in order to fund the war. It's a, you're right. It's a very insidious way they do it. We actually have copies of the form that are taken to people's homes. Uh, it's a very detailed form. It looks like a government form. And uh, the pressure is great. We are saying that Canada should not be uh, a center of financing for terrorism. The, uh, not just CSIS, but other intelligence agencies have reported to us very clearly that Canada has become, uh, that the fundraising is in, in the millions of dollars. It has been a source of funding for terrorist activities, including the Tamil Tigers. Now, why? They've been wanting to see this uh, group banned for a long time, and finally we've been able to do it. Well, I've been getting emails going back several years from people saying, Mr. Duffy, you have to help. Uh, we've got to stop this. And yet the previous government would not act. What's the story there? You know, when I used to ask that question as an opposition uh, critic, I asked it of CSIS and others, uh, why would the federal liberals not act on this? Why would they not ban the, this group under the criminal code? Uh, all we got back was, well, all they could think of was for political reasons. I, I don't want to make this a partisan issue. This is a safety and security issue. This is talking about increased safety in our communities right here in Canada. The fact of the matter is uh, the federal liberals had a, a, a record of digging in their heels every time we were asking for different groups to be banned. And was this it is, not this true that, was it Paul Martin and Maria Minna, two cabinet ministers under the Kretchen regime, actually went to a fundraising dinner that was held out in the open in Toronto, and I gather that there were pictures taken there of young people dressed in army clothes with guns or model guns over their shoulders. Uh, this was the entertainment to show how they were taking young people and turning them into young soldiers. Well, that's our understanding, Mike. That goes back uh, a few years, and we complained about that, well, ever since uh, up until right now, until we've been in government. Again, um, partisan issues aside, uh, we were very upset that the Liberals were, were uh, reluctant to name the Tamil Tigers, ban them under the criminal code, which allows the, it requires banks now to declare the assets they have. Uh, anybody who associates with the Tamil Tigers in terms of fundraising or other activities is liable to prosecution. We're at, we've, we've published a number in communication to the Tamil community that people can call now. They're, we feel they'll be more assured knowing that uh, policing authorities have this extra ability to clamp down on this type of terrorist fi uh, financing and fundraising. Uh, on a different but related topic of law enforcement, I just see a story moving on the wire that five people have been charged with first-degree murder in the uh, murders on the weekend of April.